coming up. Do those up. illegal aliens have the same rights that the American citizens have? They do. They are protected. Yes. They have the same rights under the Constitution. Not all. Not all the same rights, but they are. They do have some rights that what, are. That what they rights are do they have once they break the law to get here? You know, what, what rights do they have? Give me an example. On our uh, First Amendment, you know, they do have rights to, um, you know, to to an attorney, for example, to have legal counsel, whether they are here legally or illegally or undocumented. Um, they, you know, they do have. The same rights as we all do of free speech, you know, <laughs> the, as of now. As Are of you now. joking or what? No, I'm not joking. You, re you really believe that? They, well, you know, up Are until they put a stop. Yes, I am. You believe in God? Yes, I do. And so what you're saying now is, are you telling the truth? I am. You're telling the truth. Mm -hmm. You're saying that illegal aliens have the same right that the American citizens have under the Constitution. That is right. And you're a Christian. Do you have, as a Christian, do you have any guilt at all that you are doing wrong? You, because as a Christian, you, uh, you have a higher calling in that you're supposed to set the example, keep the law of the land and keep the laws of the heart. Do you feel guilty that you are breaking the laws of the land and other people are seeing a Christian break the laws? Does that bother you? It does not bother me at all. Amazing. I have with me Juan Rosas. He is of the Border Angels. Explain to us what Border Angels is. Border Angels, uh, first of all, is a nonprofit organization which uh, focuses on, you know, helping out the immigrants, uh, immigrant rights, for example. Um, one of the main focuses that we do is, you know, help, you know, wel welcome the immigrant, make, make them feel welcome here in the U.S. As well as, as well as in, um, uh, in our border cities with Tijuana and Baja, you know, as well as Mexicali as well. And when you say helping uh, immigrants' rights, you're referring to the illegal aliens <clears throat> coming across the border, right? The undocumented people, yes. And what rights do they have? You know, we, uh, here in the United States, you know, we all, whether you are documented or undocumented, we all have, we all have rights. What rights do the illegals have? They're coming in illegally. What rights are you, do they have? The undocumented people, you mean, uh, have, you know, we, they have, you know, we, everybody here, documented or undocumented, is protected with um, the same rights that, with, that a U.S. citizen has. Really? That a U.S. resident has. So you're saying that the illegal aliens, they break the law to come here and they come illegally and they have the same rights that I have under the Constitution? Most undocumented people come into the U.S. legally, whether it um, uh, usually whether it is with a visa or under political asylum. Well, now we do, have, we do have, we do have, and I am aware, you know, people that come into the United States illegally. Right. You know. Um, and do those illegal aliens have the same rights that the American citizens have? They do. They are protected. Yes. They have the same rights under the Constitution. Not all. Not all the same rights, but they are. They do have some rights that what, are. That what they rights are do they have once they break the law to get here? You know, what, what rights do they have? Give me an example. On our uh, First Amendment, you know, they do have rights to, um, you know, to to an attorney, for example, to have legal counsel, whether they are here legally or illegally or undocumented. Um, they, you know, they do have. The same rights as we all do of free speech, you know, <laughs> the, as of as Are of now. Are you joking or what? No, I'm not joking. You re you really believe that? They, well, you know, up Are until they put a stop. Yes, I am. You believe in God? Yes, I do. And so, what you're saying now is, are you telling the truth? I am. You're telling the truth. Mm -hmm. You're saying that illegal aliens have the same right that the American citizens have under the Constitution. That is right. And you're a Christian. Yes, I am. Do you have, as a Christian, do you have any guilt at all that you are doing wrong? You, because as a Christian, you, uh, you have a higher calling in that you're supposed to set the example, keep the law of the land and keep the laws of the heart. Do you feel guilty that you are breaking the laws of the land and other people are seeing a Christian break the laws? Does that bother you? It does not bother me at all. Amazing. Because I, as a Christian, you know, we're also called to help others. But are you called to help them break the law? 
I'm not. I'm not saying I'm helping him to break the law. Oh, uh, why not? Because from why what you, you pre, because from what you asked me, you know, you asked me, you know, what is it that, how is it that I got involved, and I got involved by taking donations to to refugees, taking donations to immigrants that are traveling through Mexico. Um, and you guys illegally, go down to the border. You leave water at the border. You give them correct. water and stuff like that. We don't give them water. We do leave water out in the desert in hopes that, you know, uh, a migrant crossing the border, you know, may, may be able to get that water. You know, because as we know, you know, water is life. And if they are able to get, you know, some, you know, some of that water that we leave out in the desert, you know, we, in our minds and in our hearts, we hope that they, you know, by drinking that water, that their lives are saved. Let me ask, are you born, were you born in the United States? I was born in Mexico. You were born in Mexico? I was born in Mexico. And are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, I am. And did you come here illegally? No, I came here with a visa. Oh, so why can't you tell them to do that? Why can't what? Why don't you tell these other ones to do the same thing? Come in in the right way. Because every, every person's case is different. Every person's case is different. From if you were to speak to, uh, I mean, every person that, that is asking the United States government to come and allow them to be in the United States, Every person and their family, they need to look at their case individually. No, but they can, they should come through the front door so they can do that. Not, not the back door, like and thieves. They're, no, they're not, you know. Um, Are they, they breaking the law by coming here illegally? If someone comes here illegally, yes. So but they are breaking the law? No, they're not, because they are going through customs. Uh, were your parents born here? No, my, pa my parents and myself we were born in Mexico. Uh, did your parents come here illegally? My parents and I came the same way with a visa. And how old were you when you came? I was a year and a half. Do you, a year and a half, do, are you an American citizen? I'm a naturalized American citizen. And do you love this country? Yes, I do. Do you love it enough to protect it from the illegal aliens? I do. What? Yes, I do. But you, you're helping the illegal aliens to get here. I'm not, I, I'm not saying I'm helping the undocumented get here. I'm, help, I'm telling you that we are helping those people across the border, <laughs> you know, across the border, by helping them get their paperwork processed through immigrations. Now, we also go out, and, uh, and I mentioned, and we leave water out in the desert. Yeah, I saw that. Okay? Now, when we leave out water in the desert, it's, it's just for them to, for anyone, you know, if they, if they find water, you know, to get, a, you know to, get a, to get a drink, to hopefully save a life. Amazing. Now, I'm... Whether I'm helping them uh, come into this country illegally, the, uh, the question is no. They're coming on their own. But once they get here, you're helping them to get here. We're, once they get to the border, we're helping them get their paperwork processed into, into U.S. Customs. Uh, what's the name of the guy that found the border angel? The name of the person is called Enrique Moren Morones. Oh, yeah, he's down in San Diego? Never? That's correct. He's an evil, evil man. As a Christian, how are you able to support him? Well, how is he an evil, evil man, as you state? Because he's, he's not an honest person. I've seen him in different interviews. How is that? He pretend like he doesn't know that these people are illegal, like they should be here, and that we're wrong for not wanting them to come here. And then he started this whole border angel thing. It's just all wrong. As a Christian, how do you resolve within yourself, I'm going to work with this bad guy? <laughs> okay. Well, um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, you're, you asked me if I was a Christian. And, um, and you, you commented a couple of times that you were a Christian yourself. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And as Christians, we are called to help others. Is that correct? In the right way, yes. In the right way. Yeah, not help okay. others break the law. We're not, we're not saying that we're helping others break the law. And now you're asking me about Enrique Morones, the Enrique. founder of Border Angels, and how he is an evil man because he is, he is helping, uh, as you say, illegals, you know, proper word would be undocumented people. Why would it be undocumented? Because they are here if they're coming without, here illegally. Because they are, they are coming here. They may be crossing the border illegally. Maybe, or they are. Okay. 
Maybe Those, there is a group of people that, yes, they, that they are. Okay. Those people that are crossing through the mountains, crossing through the hills, yes, they're, they're crossing the border illegally. And now, is that right? As a Christian, is that right for them to do that? As a, as a Christian, I mean, it's, I think it is every, every person's and individual's choice to, to make. Is it right? Now, it is, it is, as a it Christian, is wrong is it once right? it is, you know, if you think, of, if you think of, that it is wrong, and it's I'm consciously wrong, then Christian, it is wrong. Is it right? Is it right to... To break the law to come here? It is not right to break the law. So then they're not right in coming here in that way, right? Not if they're crossing the hills, right? But like I said, you know, they all, we all, they all have different ways in which, in which they do it. You know, but one they can create of them, their own ways. No, they cannot. They cannot. But like I said, you know, one of them, one of the ways to do it properly is through go is going through customs. It's going through through Border Patrol office, submitting their paperwork. That's not the right way to do it. Why is it why is it not? Come through the front door. You so do you feel like you're betraying betraying your country by bringing in illegal aliens? Do you feel like you're betraying your country? No. According to your website, uh, Border Angels fight for social justice. First of all, do you fight for social justice? Yes, I do. And what is social justice? What uh, you know, fighting for the rights of everybody, of everybody, not just the the undocumented, okay, but social justice, you know, civil rights as well. What do you mean? What do I mean? You know, if you know, we it's not just you know, I mean, social justice in this case with Border Angels is helping the is helping the immigrant, it's helping the migrant, the yeah, illegal, um, the undocumented. Okay. Uh, so social justice can also be, you know, helping those that, that, that may be in need, for example, okay? We help, we help those that... Who do you help that's in need, other than the illegals? Other than the undocumented mm -hmm. would be, for example, those looking for work you at help Home them, Depot. You let them look for work? I don't help them look for work. Who do you help you look know, for work? We help them with, by giving them resources. Not look for work, but oh. help them by giving them resources to local, mental, dental, um, and, um, and health services, okay? Is it fair to the American citizens that you're doing this to them? When, when we're helping these, these people that are, that are looking for work, we are there as a resource. You know, we, are, we are providing resources. That you are, are doing the social justice things, this social justice outreach with illegal aliens, is that fair to the American citizen? Um, well, let let me see. Well, you're asking it whether it is fair right. that we are doing a social justice for illegal aliens, okay, for undocumented people. Is that fair to the American citizens? It depends. It, it, it's I'm not going to say it is because social justice. It, you cannot just determine whether it is fair or not. Why not? Because social, social justice is an act of helping someone else. Social justice, now, if, if I were to ask you, you know, um, what social justice is to you, you know, um, whether, whatever topic or whatever example it may be, it's the same question that I may ask. Well, is it, un is it fair or unfair to those that, that do not fall under that category? <laughs> Is it fair to the American citizen that you're doing this social justice thing with the illegal aliens? I'm not going to say whether it is fair or not because Why again, not? because social social justice is an act, is an individual act of the person to help someone else. Is it a fair act? It is a fair it's act. It's a right act. It is a fair act, but not right. It could be right. Do you support the Constitution of the United States? Yes, I do. You. How do you support it if you're breaking it? How am I breaking it? By doing this with the illegal aliens, bringing them into our country, I'm or not helping to get them here. I'm not bringing them, or I'm, I am not bringing them into the country. So are you saying that I, it's possible to support the Constitution and social justice at the same time? Yes, it is. Amazing. Yes, it is. What type of Christian are you, a Catholic or something? What type of Christian are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, and, and it's the same thing. I mean, if we.